what's up good people welcome and welcome back to my channel in case you're new i'm natalia and again in case you're new subscribe just subscribe because i know you haven't subscribed <laughs> Love is for the week, I'ma love you for the week Ten dash out, what's on the cut out Straight to the trap till everything's sold out Bro, what's the fighting to get a yard to drop out When the young tide, the kind of love is what I need oh, Good morning, it's uh, it's literally 8am in the morning I'm just from waking up Doesn't show you how lazy I am, but It's when I just woke and by up For the record guys, I'm not wearing any makeup but I haven't drawn my brows, that's why I'm with a bandana here. I haven't drawn, I haven't drawn them. I, you remember I still shaved them, so I'm still waiting for them to grow back. Probably they'll have grown back before my birthday. I'm hoping so, because that day I don't want to struggle drawing things. I just want to get to a style. <laughs> And uh, so I was saying, um, I was looking at um, some interview that happened back in 2012. It's about um, Donald Molosi. Um, he was interviewed by Emmanuel Iduma and uh, he's a writer. So there's this part, I liked this part where he answered some question. I really don't ex I remember the exact words, but I'll definitely put it up here so that you can see or you can also check his online i bet you can find him on google i bet so you can check that part he said something like he still doesn't understand uh, that people in botswana he comes he comes from botswana people in botswana take off work to watch prince harry marry kate middleton and they don't take off from work when their own kings are marrying i don't i don't know they call them swati or something they don't take off work so i don't know if you're thinking what i'm thinking but you can just think about it i don't know i felt like i should share it with you you should just think about it without wasting any other time see we go straight to the v so guys before i i um tell you what i want to do or review the products i want to review with you today um i don't know how many of you have tried snail products i don't know how many of you and i don't know if they have helped you they haven't you know different people have different testimonies about snail products i also have my version of the testimony on snail products so today i want to share with you my version how snail worked for me how it did not it did not work for me i don't know i think it's good for people to watch review on products before they try them out i really think it's good because you know first of all we have different skin types our skins are different they react differently to different oils i don't know what oil you use but today we're going to review snail Repairing cream by fruit of wakali. I don't know if you can see it Check it well, yeah, so this oil basically it's more of a normal oil But it has some snail secretion inside So the purpose of this we all know snails are They are that one so your smoothness, yeah, okay. you believe that when you use snail products, your skin's gonna be like a snail. <laughs> and um, um, before I started using snail, I was it was referred to me by my let me call her a friend. Um, she told me I I told her about my I I I have acne, so I told her about my acne on my arm, and she told me I think you should try out snail, and I was like, are you sure it will work for me? Are you like sure? And so she told me how she started using snail. Like um, the time we were talking, she told me she she started using snail like three months back, and it really worked for her. Basically, people usually use snail on their face, and so I decided to buy it. I, I did I check a review? Yeah, I checked a review, but I won't tell you about what I saw in the review. <laughs> I'll tell you at the end of the video. So I checked the, the video and I was like, let's try this. So I bought it and started using it. I, my guys, I was washing my face in the night, in the morning, and applying my cream. 
I was so optimistic that I usually have some blackheads. It it comes. I think it's a season. They come and they go. Like, like right now, I don't have any. I use something else for my face. And uh, so I started using snail, and then it reached a point. It started reacting on my face. There were some pimples, uh, not really pimples, but rashes, like was like measles. And then I decided to discontinue it. I discontinued it for like a week and decided to use it again, but it had the same impact. So I decided to stop and use it on my body. When I started using it on my body, it, okay, it has a nice smell, and uh, also when you apply it, there's like a that texture. It's it's nice i won't lie to you it's it gives you a nice touch it leaves you with a nice touch and it's not shining it's not greasy it's just there it's more of a meat oil yeah it is it is more of a meat oil and so that's about me so this oil basically me i don't know i can't discourage you from using it but you can try it and tell me about tell me about your experience of the oil i don't know i feel like it works differently because if you see my friend's skin she's glowing <laughs> i'm telling you she's glowing like she's really glowing and i was like this oil look funny i bet i should try it but for me what i've realized with uh products from fruit of wakali they don't work for me for me they don't work but if I, there's a product by Dr. Rachel, I decided I'll try and maybe I'll tell you about it. But for Fruit of Vocal, it doesn't work for me. Maybe it works for you. You can tell me what you think down in the comment section. And uh, we see about the review. Maybe it, uh, it has, it works on some type of skin. As I told you earlier, me, I have a combined skin for my face. It's combined. It's a combination of an oil, of oil and normal skin. So I don't know, you tell me about the product, and it's not that expensive by the way, it's affordable, <laughs> funny thing I haven't shown you. So when I bought this oil, I mean it full, like it's full. I opened it, I started using, so the other day we went for swimming with my friends, and uh, after showering, I was going to apply, I didn't realize my oil in my kumisha. So when I was going to, I don't know if you can see because it's white. I know you won't be able to see but this funny thing is have you ever seen mega flasks it's like a mega flask inside <laughs> imagine but it has a nice smell i won't lie it really has a nice smell you can try it and tell us about your experience here they say skin generation i don't know what they mean but you can try it and tell us about it Go try it. It's affordable. Okay, and the shop high pity miatano high pity. If it's maybe expensive, sana it could go for five hundred. I guess. Yeah, and that's all I have to tell you about snail. Tell me what you think. We can do other reviews too. And by the way, for the record, guys, we'll be doing more reviews of products I use. So that you can also see if you'll try them or you won't try them. If you realize your, your skin is sensitive, don't try some products. Please don't try. I'll try uh, and do a, a review on the black soap by Dr. Rachel before, before when. I won't promise. Because by the way, guys, I, I'm seeing, uh, I'm not sure, but I'm not sure if I'll have a fixed schedule tighter on in the near future. I'm not sure, but I'll let you know. I'll let you know for sure, for sure. Rule of this video, when it comes to buying um, beauty products or when it comes to buying um, anything that you use on your body, be it ointment, serums, anything. Please, 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 please. Ask your friends if they know about it. Look, uh, check on YouTube about re on reviews about the products. Yeah, please. That's rule number one when it comes to buying beauty products. Make sure when you're going for this thing, it has 
like reviews a lot of reviews and you're like it's the product for me so that you won't regret yeah that's the rule for today rule number one yeah i promise i'll be giving you rules every day so uh i think that's all for today always remember to put god first and also remember it's january make sure you make your resolutions come to life before we end this year until next time bye